Hello everyone. It was aired in the second episode of House of the Dragon after the first episode of the series, which was excellent. If you wish to support the channel before going to the video, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. Have a good time. At the beginning of the first episode, we didn't see the credits stage and the music. The generic scene and music of the series were a matter of curiosity. As you know, the credits of the Game of Thrones series varied according to the story and gave many clues. In House of the Dragon, the producers chose not to put credits in order not to cast a shadow on the first episode. The series started with new credits in the second episode. The music was used by Ramin Jawadi for the TV series Game of Thrones. By choosing this music, they tried to create emotionality in the audience and tie it to the series. We can take it for granted that they are afraid to try something new. The generic has many details worth examining. Targaryen fans must have understood something, but for those who can't quite figure it out, we're starting to explain now. The city we were thrown around in the House of the Dragon credits seems familiar to us from somewhere. This city is a miniature stone city built by King Viserys. So it's the old Valyria where the Targaryens were before they came to Westeros. It's been a long time since Valyria was destroyed, but it was a very good decision to use Valyrian plans in the credits, as they hold a very important place in Targaryen history. The spinning gears we see in the credits and each of the symbols on them represent a Targaryen. You can think of blood grooves as branches of the Targaryen family tree. Inside the first wheel is a portrait of the dragon, possibly describing the Valyrian apocalypse. When the wheel is filled with blood, all that remains is Aegon the Conqueror's iron crown. The fact that the wheel is filled with blood tells us that the character is dead. Unfortunately we can't see all the reels and symbols clearly. Because sometimes it goes very fast and sometimes it is shown from an incomprehensible angle. After all, their aim is to go to the important Targaryens in the series by following the bloodshed. For example, in a scene, nine blood grooves come out with the combination of two wheels. The merging wheels, two of the nine blood grooves belonging to King Jaehaerys and Queen Alizan, lead us to Prince Balon and Princess Alyssa. One of the two blood grooves coming out of these two wheels takes us to our King Viserys I and his wife, Queen Emma, who died in the first episode. A blood trough coming out of here leads us to the symbol on the necklace Daemon gave Renera, namely Renera's wheel. We then pass through an inlaid stone door that represents a dragon relief ruling the nine house symbols. Of the house symbols, only the Baratheon, Hightower, Lannister, and Stark can be deciphered. At the end of the credits, we see the bird's eye plan and the Targaryen symbol of Valyria, whose streets we are wandering around. If you want more videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Enjoy watching.